Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, so it's another Meal Day, Meal Day, Meal Day episode. We open the week's purchases, packages that we received over the course of the week. We do this every Friday. We're going to first open some friend mail from Eddie's Keyboard Cardboard Chaos. Eddie celebrated his three-year anniversary on YouTube and gave away some great cards. And he went live. And during the live stream, he chose some random winners in addition to the grand prize winner. And I was one of those extra winners. So sent me some. Michael, as always, thank you for your support. Thanks. On 1K soon, Eddie, Galatians 5, 23. Pretty sweet. Thanks, Eddie. I'm getting inching up closer to 1,000 subs each and every day. Seem to get one more person or one more subscriber in. We appreciate that. Eddie was giving away just a random blast of six or seven or eight Hall of Fame cards. And let's see what we got. Did not hit three. <laughs> That's funny. David Ortiz did not hit 378 in college. Roy Halladay, Hall of Famer. That's the newest Hall of Famer is David Ortiz. Pudge. BGO as a catcher early in his career. And Grinky, Hernandez, and Holiday. That's going to be cool. Maybe Grinky can make it someday. Hernandez is probably just a couple seasons short. Winfield, I was there when he got inducted in 01, along with Kirby Puckett and Maz, and the great Nolan Ryan, who has a uh, what is it? Is it a series or just one big episode? Or it's going to be something like, uh, I was thinking maybe his cards will explode like Jordan's did during The Last Dance. Next up is a Facebook group purchase. I don't know which one this is, so we shall find out together. Oh yeah, okay. Two cards here uh, for $5 delivered. Two for two bucks a piece. Steve Owens, Heisman Trophy winner on his rookie card. That's 72 tops. And then Jack Del Rio. I think I only have one Jack Del Rio autograph in my collection. I thought that was pretty cool on the 91 tops. Hadn't seen that card autographed before. So two bucks. I thought I'll pick it up. And Steve Owens rookie card, Heisman Trophy rookie card. And uh, first ever Detroit Lion to rush for 1,000 yards in a season. Next up is another Facebook group purchase. Hopefully we get the one that I'm thinking it is. That would be cool. A nice little piece for the collection. And this is it. Yes, sir. 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey player Mark Wells has a Facebook page. He goes live quite a bit. Auctions off autographed memorabilia. And I think this was 15 delivered. He has a special now. Well, there's his business card autograph. Got a little bonus autograph there. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Mark Wells. That's pretty cool. So I don't have Mark Wells in my collection. I do now. $15 for two. I was willing to pay $15 for one. He used to sign through the mail, and then he kind of got pushed back and people were sending too many cards and so he decided to regulate this thing and do it on my own make my own facebook page make my own publicity this is an ebay purchase we'll find out what it is when we open it up got some pricing of things i purchased over the course of the week that wells was 15 delivered he's got a special now you can get i think four Four cards for $36, four different signatures, four different cards. So that's a pretty cool deal. Go to Facebook and just look up Mark Wells. Oh, this is an unsigned uh, Dickerson rookie. Pretty decent, nice corners, a little bit off center. Those 84 tops are hit or miss on the center, but uh, it's going to look great signed. Dickerson Hall of Fame running back signs for $10 a piece. Usually 
inks it up pretty well. He's got a really good looking signature. I got the Hall of Fame inscription last time we sent to him. But that was $4.25 plus $1.99. So $6.24 delivered for a Dickerson rookie. This is another eBay purchase, but uh, it's pretty well taped. I have to get the big knife. Get the big boy out. Hopefully that's enough. Maybe not. Don't want to tear the card. It's always a concern. Card could have slipped up there during shipment. There we go. I'd like just to tear that off right there, but they taped it. There we go. Tony La Russa rookie card on the 64 tops. Sweet, sweet. Tony La Russa, Hall of Fame manager. Great signer through the mail. Signs uh, two at a time, max two. And that one was $11 plus $3.50 shipping. $14.50 delivered for La Russa. He will sign for free, and that's his rookie card. Put him right there. All right, here's two more from the Facebook groups. No, 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 two more. This is this is eBay purchase. Should be two 62 Fleers. And there it is, Fred the Hammer Williamson. He's 62 rookie. On the Raiders. Great player. He used to tackle with his forearm to people's heads. <laughs> That's why they called him the hammer. Bring the hammer down on those receivers. That's his rookie card, 62 Fleer. Looks great. Became kind of an actor after his playing days. Well, during his playing days and then after his playing days as well. Still lives in the L.A. area. And is a pretty decent signer through the mail. Sometimes he's hit or miss. We'll have to see what he does this time. So who's this one? Another eBay purchase. Same seller. Hammer was $15.50 delivered. 62 rookie card. Here's the receipt that's in there. $20.50. Who could it be? Who could it be? Good packaging. Yeah, baby, right there. Jim Otto. We knew the corners were a little bit rounded, but there were no creases that were noticeable. And that's 61 Fleer. Tough to get. Clean back. There's a couple for sale right now on eBay. There's got hand-drawn numbers on the back there. Someone was keeping track of their sets back in the day, hand numbering their cards on the back. Of course, not knowing that condition would be such a big thing in today's world. That was $20.50 for the auto. There's some rumor that he's increased his fee to $10 and maybe $20 for a rookie. So I have to double check that. I've had one out sending that 61 tops rookie. Oh, geez. It's been um, two months now, I think, which is really, really slow for him so something's going on i hope he's healthy he's had a ton of health issues over the years he's mid 80s by now age 23 and 61 <laughs> so that's that's 62 years between 23 is 84 years old and he's had his leg amputated several knee surgeries from his playing days before that Oh, this is a Greg Morris purchase. I only got two through Greg Morris this week. Another La Russe has 72 tops. Really good condition. Number 451. So that's kind of a mid-series card. And then Jack Sigma's rookie card. Jack, I don't know if he signs through the mail. He did it one time. Uh, but hopefully if we see him at his show or if he does start signing through the mail again, we will get him on his rookie card. But that was uh, $11.00. Now, let's see. That's the other Larissa. Hmm. I don't have this one marked down. 
Don't have this one marked down. Pretty cheap. The only things I got through um, Greg Morris this week. Sigma Rookie and an early La Russa. So we'll package both of those La Russas. Like I said, he is a two-card limit. So those are the two cards we'll send. His Rookie 64 and the Braves on the 72. That's it. Thanks for watching. Pretty quick. Um, mail day, mail day, mail day episode this week. Yeah, what'd you think? You like that Mark Wells Olympic gold signed in silver? Jim Otto rookie is going to look great with ink. Let's hope he's still signing. Hammer Williamson, Tony La Russa. How about the Steve Owens? Already signed in the Jack Del Rio. Dickerson, your man. Let me know down below. I'm always interested in your comments, what you think. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, as we inch closer to 1,000 subs, hop on board. Click that icon right there, and then you hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos. And if you missed last week's TTM video, I'll leave a link to that right there. And hopefully we'll see you Monday with another TTM video here. Thanks for being with me today, and we'll see you soon.